folks, this is Sam with B Sharp Guitars again. With me today is a GNL Rampage Jerry Cantrell signature model from the Tribute series. Uh, essentially, um, the Tribute series is GNL's little budget line where they kind of take their homeland designs, send it off to a uh, foreign country to be produced at a uh, lower cost so it can be sold cheaper. Kind of like how Fender has its Squire and Gibson has its Epiphone. Now, a little background information for people who do not know who GNL is. GNL was a company started by Leo Fender. If the name rings a bell, then yes, it was the man who started Fender. GNL was a company Leo and friends started in the late 70s, well after he saw the company Fender, and he just kind of wanted to start things new. Those who I am hoping are among the few who do not know who Jerry Cantrell is, he's a guitarist of the Seattle grunge band Alice in Chains. While grunge has been associated with an uh, 80s shred guitar's decline in popularity, this guitar has a lot of features that can suit a shredder. Mm. One thing right off the bat, we have a Kaler Tremolo. And get a look at the locking nuts there. Uh, Kaler Tremolo, it's a you know locking tremolo where you can just do all those crazy dive bombs. The strings are locked in, you don't have to worry about it getting knocked out of tune. Now, Kaler was kind of along with another popular tremolo system with uh, Floyd Rose, and you know, they kind of built a rivalry. But anyway, it's just right down to the personal, you know, individual opinion. Really, I have to say about Kaler compared to a lot of you know, Floyd Rose, because I usually play a lot of Floyd's, is that it is very sensitive, you know, when it comes to you know, being pushed down and going low. Lot. Or you're just going right up there in the note. Doesn't take a whole lot of effort. And that can be both an advantage and a disadvantage. You know, if you just easily hit it or kind of go too far. That's just one of those things you really got to kind of practice on if you are very specific on getting a certain note. But with that out of the way, you have just that one bridge pickup and you just have. The little volume there. So you're getting a lot of output and a lot of tone just from that pickup. Because you know you're really sacrificing you know all the selections, you know, having the extra pickup, you know, sometimes people have the middle one. But if you're one of those people who just play on the bridge 99.99% of the time, not gonna be the biggest deal at all. Uh, for the by itself, you're looking at a maple. And of course you got the bolted on neck which is maple and the fretboard is ebony it's in really good shape i'm not seeing any major dings or scratches you know just the light ones you know apart from belt buckles but you're not seeing anything really obvious i would say this is a really good guitar at that intermediate level saying you're kind of going to that niche area you've been playing some pretty basic for a while kind of know what you're going to be playing with you know from there on out, you know, I was like, okay, I'm more of a hard rock metal guitarist. I'm a big Alice in Chains fan, so hey, get this, because this is generally not all that expensive. It's a made in China, but it really does kind of hold on well to um, a lot of the Korean, Japanese, and I do say American made guitars. Comes in a gig bag, which is pretty good, an official GNL one. And that's just about all there is to it. So anyway, I am Sam with B Sharp Guitars, over and out.